Good morning friends, welcome back to a new vlog. It's super super early and um, you probably can tell by the lighting that it's like really really early because the sun hasn't even come out yet and uh, today is Monday and it's a special week because my colleague is on holiday for two weeks so I've come in super super uber early <laughs> to try and get a grip of things here in the office um, before the work day actually starts because I've been you know trying to like not um, get overwhelmed by things which is quite difficult because we're currently going through um, some new uh, trials let's call it um, behind the scenes this time it has all to do with um, logistics and work and finances and things so um, recently we got the news that Caesar's job might be um, finishing soon um, I don't even know how to say like we have been living with this shock now for about a week that from the end of the year or like in the beginning of next year we don't know where he's gonna be at. Um, he has been working at the same place for nearly 14 years and it's let's just say it was a bit of a shock to us to learn that that might not be the case. Um, in a few weeks from now so needless to say we have been um, a bit stressed um, about that I'm trying to not let it affect me to the point where I panic too much because I'm already having I'm noticing that I'm having trouble sleeping at night um, my MS symptoms are just like flaring because I'm obviously stressed and upset about this um, for more than one reason. Sometimes change is good, so we can only hope that this is for the better, but the way the news were delivered, like there are various things around this that makes it um, very emotional and like hard for me. Um, but anywho, so like, let's just say that I'm, I'm in a bit of a, not a flare, but like my existing daily symptoms are just um, a lot more noticeable when I'm stressed and I'm, when I'm not sleeping well and I haven't slept a night I think in a week now um, and my arm pain is just so bad last week I didn't get to go to rehab at all I did not get a chance to see my physiotherapist um, because I was home with sick kids and then there was just many things going on um, so I'm hoping that this week I will be able to go and maybe they can give me some relief for my arm pain. Uh, I don't want to come on here and complain all the time, but I'm realizing more and more that you guys really resonate when I share how I'm feeling and like everyday scenarios and struggles, but also highs and lows, not only lows, um, because this is very like real life content that I produce. I'm not just here staging something i'm having a real conversation with you because i feel like we're friends <laughs> first of all and i need some you know i need to let out somehow um the frustration and i feel like when you say things out loud they become less scary if you haven't tried it i recommend you to try it not saying they should go to a therapist necessarily but like if you could say things out loud then they become less scary i've noticed um and i don't know i kind of just wanted to share my heart with you guys this morning uh, before the lights come on and before the work day actually starts um we're, we're just on the run up to christmas like <laughs> that's also one thing so this is the first year where i'm properly gonna be able to buy christmas presents for people in my family uh, and now when we've learned that we might not have Caesar's income from January, we're like, okay, <laughs> so maybe we should not be spending our money now. Maybe we should just try and save every little euro that we have and pray that he won't be out of a job in January. I don't think he will. I really don't think that he will, but could happen. 
Um, and I know that he's stressing about that too and I don't want to put all of my things on him as well. Like he's already taken on so much of my stress. Um, but anywho, like the thoughts have just been like here, there and everywhere. And I know that we are not the only ones who might be struggling in Christmas time. I don't know why it's so much more noticeable in Christmas time. Maybe because everything is so festive and you're supposed to be so happy and doing all the things. And I'm sitting here looking out uh, on my surroundings and they've just planted like beautiful Christmas flowers outside the window, bright red, um, and it's supposed to give that holiday cheer, but can't help but be a little bit like, mm, I don't know. I'm trying to get the magic to my kids though, um, but I, w I also want to share with you guys like our day-to-day -day life in Christmas time because we do a lot of fun things. We recently celebrated my sister's birthday, we went to my mom's house to decorate a tree, all of those things. And I want to share that with you too, so um, I might pop this video in as a little like side note and then pick up the vlogs again but I wanted to share my heart with you guys this morning because I felt like I there's been a reason why I haven't been uploading as much and I'm I don't want to disappoint myself because my goal for the end of the year was to reach to 2000 subscribers and very 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 close very very close but it's very noticeable that it's December and people are busy and people don't have time to sit and watch YouTube <laughs> if you just See like how many views my last blog have if you compare with the, the one before that um, you can really see um, that people are not on um, YouTube as much but anywho uh, enough rambling I want to wish you guys a wonderful day um, normal blogs are coming after this I had a doctor's appointment recently we need to talk about that um, I had my eye exam uh, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update what happened during the eye exam because that wasn't um, as successful as I would have wished for but I don't have the results yet so I will hold on a little bit more before I reveal anything about that but know that I had an eye exam uh, as a follow-up appointment to my uh, I was admitted to hospital this summer due to optic neuritis and it looks like my permanent, like my uh, vision loss that I had is is permanent. We shall see. Um, so yeah, it's just been a little heavy. It's been a little heavy, but I'm keeping my Christmas spirit and doing all the things as I mentioned in my last vlog to try and make myself feel better and focus on what's important. So I wish you guys a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in a future vlog very soon. Much love.